Hi everyone, in today's hobby video I'm going to showcase some Inquisition Acolytes that are kit bashed using mostly Ash Militarum parts. Having listened to several of the Black Library novels, I was inspired to make some of my own Inquisition Acolytes. I've gone with the idea that most of the Acolytes are recruited in by the Inquisition and come from all walks of life as far as their career is concerned. It was a good chance to paint up some of the different Ashtabilitarum armies outside of the typical Cadian models that you always use, and use some very basic kit bashing to make them look quite unique. So the first three you can see here are using the typical Cadian models. You can see the first chap here is a tank commander style model, and the guy with the uh, storm bolter, a two standard Cadian, but using the um, head I believe is from the tank accessory frame. And of course the bloke at the back in the, uh, the red uh, fatigues is a sergeant style miniature. Across all of them I try to uh, always use a skull on the left shoulder pad to make him appear a bit more uh, of the same unit. And also as you can see in some of them, or in all of them, I've got that little like uh, bit which hangs off their belt and their back. It's from a space marine kit and I don't actually know what it's called but it's um, got like little skulls in it. it, must be some sort of semi-religious type of thing. You can see these three chaps here are pretty basic with a Bolter, Sergeant, Storm Bolter, Cadian, Crewman, and then the Tank Commander with a Multi Melter. The next three you can obviously is a Catagen, a Vestroian, and a Mordian. The Catagen is obviously taken from the standard frame, but he's a total badass firing a Storm Bolter with just one hand. You can see also on his belt he's got a little like um, religious stuff thing with a Keen at this time, and his Catagen Fang is sufficiently bloody having just uh, not one of his uh, opponents. The Vestroian is made using um, anvil industry parts for the torso, legs and head. Uh, there's a perfect set of Cadian arms which actually has the left hand unattached to the las gun, so it makes it very easy to kit bash. Uh, and of, all, of course we've got a bionic legged um, Mordian who's a total badass with a bolt gun stuck to his back with also a multi melter. Truth be told I did that because I read out actually um, combi melters. As for all the weapons, they come straight from eBay. Uh, plenty of people selling individual kits. And I think a couple of the Storm Bolts are actually from Sisters of Battle. And some other ones I believe must be Space Marines, of course. Uh, so these guys look were really fun to actually paint and uh, make because they're so different to painting normal Cadians, as you can imagine. And the last three are by far the most unique. We've um, firstly a Palatum Enforcer from the Necromunda kits. That was really fun to do because he actually comes with a uh, massive revolver which we've replaced with a Commissar's bolt pistol. The idea being that uh, this chap was so ruthless in his previous role, he gained the respect of a Commissar who gifted him his uh, bolt pistol. You can see there's um, an oath parchment stuck to his left shoulder pad like um, some of the other models and of course a bolter as well. The two female characters are from Anvil Industry again and I think it's a bit of a miss that Ash Militarum troopers don't have any female models seeing that both genders can serve in the Ash Militarum. There's various bits and pieces on them, including the Bolter from a Marine kit, I think Storm Bolters from Sisters of Battles, as I said before, and then of course bits and pieces from accessories. Now that great big blade is from Adeptus Custodes, I'm going to get this wrong, but it's a Mesocordia. The idea being that once in battle, this lady was seen to be so uh, ruthless in her duties like the Enforcer, that Adeptus Custodes Warrior gave her his personal short blade. It's real fun to make these three. So yep, nice quick video uh, showcasing these miniatures and hopefully it inspires you to have a go at uh, kit bashing some of your own uh, models as well. Uh, I use various bits and pieces from all over the place. I think there's a bits from Scion's kit, Cadian kit. There's even a couple of grenades that I took from a Brew Brothers kit as well. Of course, in a Catagen kit and uh, of course, bits and pieces from Anvil Industry. So some fantastic options here to make your models look quite unique and use up all the spare leftovers you've got lot around the house as well. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, please feel free to subscribe or leave a comment or share. And if you really enjoyed it, you can support me on Patreon. I've got a little Patreon platoon set up now, and you can see the current members of the platoon with Roll Core appearing now. But either way, hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, uh, put them in the comments or questions and feedback. And if you want to share your own uh, kit bash jobs, uh, do so on my Instagram. The link's below as well. Hopefully speak to you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.